North Avondale residents are scrambling to try and raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to save their properties from landslide damage. Nine on your sides, Paula Suro joins us from the neighborhood where all of this is unfolding. Paula. Yeah, well, Kristen, listen, this hill rests in the backyard of many homes here on West Park Drive, but the landslide is affecting four homes. I mean, you can see this rubble here on this driveway, as well as the crumbling asphalt. And look at this, a crumbling garage. This is why the city has actually condemned this home. And neighbors I spoke to actually tell me they're scared if this problem doesn't get fixed, they might be next. It's like hell is relocated to our backyard. After 16 years. Temporarily, it's going to be evicted. Richard McKenzie and his wife Maria never thought this would happen. Him and three other homeowners on West Park Drive will have to pay a total of $326,000 to protect their homes from a landslide. They're just talking about going down to bedrock about 15 feet, okay. uh, putting pillars in. Um, to stabilize the hill from moving yeah. forward. Down the road next to that same hill is Mackenzie's neighbor, Timothy Lane, who grew up in this home and lives here again. Dealing with, you know, the panic of the hill, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's unrest for you. In the middle of night, you can sleep, but you can't rest. Right. Uh, because of everything that's going on. They also can't rest because the clock is ticking. The city has given them 30 days to solve this problem. I need you to help me be, you know, in, in the solution yeah. of it. You know, don't just tell me I've got to come up with $336,000 right. and they'll walk away. We brought in Eric Russo with Hillside Trust, a nonprofit focused on hillside preservation. Even to a, a lot of trained eyes, you could really not see this in the making because it's so deep. So it speaks to how deep the landslide is and how much devastation it's causing. He advised the homeowners on what to do. And they should not be fined or held any kind of contempt for not meeting that 30 days. Now the homeowners here tell me they're actually very close to hitting that 30 day mark. I did reach out to the city and ask them what happens if they reach that mark. I've got that and way more coming up on nine on your side at six. But for now we're live in North Avondale, Paolo Suro nine on your side.